Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction and Black Clover, Chapter 291. Spoilers, raw scans are out, and, and this, this is what everyone has been waiting for, like, official confirmation. Like, this is the return of freaking Mega and Zora. Oh my goodness and what a spectacular fashion because we're about to see some interesting stuff here we're about to see some interesting stuff here now i don't have kamikaze menders you know little synopsis so we're just gonna go through the actual raw scans and i'm just gonna go through what i what i'm seeing and also you know just what my thoughts are on everything in general you know, so make sure to stay to the end because I do have an announcement. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like these type of videos from me and you want more, then go ahead, drop a comment, let me know, hit the subscribe notification bell. Let's go ahead and get into this Black Clover chapter 291. Now, the chapter... It looks like it starts off with now i don't know the name of it like these chapters are very very interesting um i don't know the name of it but it looks like it starts off with asta and you know destroying as far as the what you would call it um and that was interesting because i know a couple of people thought like is he really gonna be able to like legit destroy these two and so we see as far as the twin demons start to uh, disintegrate the same way that you know the word magic devil did when he was finally defeated so they're defeated you know unless they pull some like psych <laughs> you know rematerialize i don't know but i think they're done for good but you know, Asta's looks surprised. You know, Nock looks, you know, relieved. I don't know what it is they're saying, but like something about this just, you know, we know on the grand scale that they, there's no sigh of relief right now, like at all, you know? But the cool thing is that after that, we get um, basically, it looks like Dante was about to finish Jack off and then we see um, Magna throw his freaking one of his whatchamacallits and then, you know, hits him. Now, the interesting thing is that we now find out where Magna and Zora was the whole time. And Magna, they show a flashback and Magna's sitting up there seeing what's going on to his teammates. And he's just all like, I got to go out there. And Zora's just saw like, bro, if you go out there, you will only get killed. Like, let's stay back here, you know? And you see, you know, Magna's face, like the flashbacks. And the thing is that you can see that he saw everything from the fight itself to Yami getting snatched up. You know, he saw, basically that's what I'm seeing. You know, like he literally saw everything that went down and we see this part where he's just like, and I think this is because he wants to be more powerful. You know, he's like, if I'm not mistaken, he's, uh, I wouldn't say like, he's not like, he's basically, I would want to say like third in command, you know, if I'm not mistaken. And so with him not being able to be there, because other than, you know, Noct, which just had popped up, you know, Magda was, is Yami other than Fenrir, you know, like he's, he's right there. And the thing is that over the series, it's not that they show Magna being weak, but I feel like there's like this dormant power within him and he's actually like probably pretty powerful because I like how they brought both him and Zora to Dante, to Dante, you know, the leader of the Dark Triad, you know, at 100%. And they got, then they're literally, so anyways, before I, like, it, it gets me hype. It gets me hype because I'm just all like, yo, 
Um, but we see like a little flashback as far as him. It looks like he's just thinking about his team members and Dante just has this look like, like who, <laughs> who do you think? Do you know who I am? Like there's this panel where this shows Dante in his 100% form and then you see Magda. And he looks like, it looks like he's almost like terrified, but he's like clenching his wrist like, yo, gotta go ahead and do this. Like it is what it is, you know? And we see this smile and Dante's just all like, what do you got up your sleeve, you know? Um, and we see a little bit of dialogue as far as with Jack and Dante, you know, being his laughing lunatic self. And it looks like the chapter uh, either ends with as far as the both Magna and Zora popping up, um, or it ends with the Asta and the, whatchamacallit, demon disintegrating. But, okay, so looking at all of these leaked images, I don't think this is everything, you know, but this is what we do have. For one, you know, there was, there's several reasons, of course, that Magna and Zora there with Dante, I mean, they took, he, that was the one that fought their captain. So there's that, like, I think someone had mentioned it, but I think the whole Black Bulls are going to come and, like, <laughs> like mess up Dante. Like, I don't even, like, I feel like they're going to get their revenge, something serious. And then I feel like Asta's going to be, like, that, that final and his freaking, you know, devil union form to hit that. <laughs> Like, oh, man, that would be so dope. Um, but I feel like, you know, there was definitely a level up because, you know, there's a lot with main this character. You know, like, he's got, he's the older one of the group. You know, he's got to be, you know, more, he's got to be able to be Lux rival, you know, and he's... He's going to have to be able to tap into some stuff, you know, like, and so there's that that's going on. You know, I'm glad that we got to see, like, that it wasn't some random, you know, they was off, like, he literally saw everything. And seeing that, I think, was, like, the break, like, even right now, it just gets me, like, Ooh, because it's just all like we like he saw the whole time him and Zora's like yo Zora's just like there is nothing that we can logically do I know I know I feel you bro like I know you want to go out there but literally we you see what he's doing to our captain you know like come on now you know so I think that that was cool, and I like to see as far as the the friendship with Magna and Zora kind of um, kind of develop more. Because I feel like if they they would be like the coolest of friends, you know, <laughs> honestly. Um, so I think that that was dope, and I think that we're gonna really be able to see what that what that is. So now, so now what we got right now is Dante, Zora. Magna and Jack, you know, going against Dante. So that's what currently we're seeing right now. Um, and we have Asta destroying the twin demon, question mark. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> we, we will know for sure. Um, not smile makes me uneasy as far as this because I feel like there's it's like uh, we I don't know there might be you know some people had mentioned it you know as far as not having ulterior motives and stuff like that but I don't know he was literally about to do this whole attack that would have had him in this infinite you know thing for eternity so I don't I don't freaking know or maybe he felt I don't know maybe he to us, the readers were looking at it and he wanted us to believe that, but maybe he knew that they were powerful enough to be able to break out of this stuff because they was playing with them. There's there, there's no way that he, I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't know. But this scene with Magda and Zora is fucking badass. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh man, so anyways, 
there's going to be a two week hiatus as far as with the main and you know we're sol as far as the anime so is there anything that y'all have not seen like you know people cover or talk about in black clover because i would love to just create some content that is you know not you know the these you know leaks and different things like i want to get i want to apply like some of my dope ways of looking at things to give like some dope original content so i saw um one youtuber is super dope and he's doing like oh, these what if things as far as with black clover and i thought that that was really dope um just let me know leave a comment you know i let's 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 get it going um but other than that yo let me know y'all's thoughts on this chapter this was a really dope chapter it got me hyped you know um but other than that again oh stay to the end so i recently released the first chapter of my magna comic called the most random magna ever and it's, it, it is the most random magnet ever. And so it's set in a fictional universe in which cannabis is a multi-purpose resource for the people of the land of the trees. And the series follows the journey of two stoners, Shifty the raccoon and Hippie the frog, who are searching for other use, uses for the plant after a bad reaction to a strain that came out the sky gave them powers. I know. It's super random, but I was looking up different things that aren't in Magnus. And weed was one of them. And I wanted to do something that is like on the level of like, you know, what the F of, of Rick and Morty, you know, but also to get like a, I want the actual cannabis benefits and you know the exploration of the science aspect like a dr stone i love dr stone like i when i saw the first season i was like what yeah i haven't saw season two yet but i did so i was reading um the the magna that um went you know for season two um those volumes and i'm like yo this is super dope but yeah so if you want to read that chat it's completely free uh, there will be a link in the description and then within that link you can read it on there or you can download it as a PDF. So let me know what y'all think of that. Like I said, it's the first chapter. I'm actually working on the second chapter right now. I don't know how crazy it's going to get, but I just, you know, it, it's just something random and the technology that we have, you know, again, it's purposely like not drawn because I can't actually draw. But if you're listening to this and you draw like Magna style and you would like to draw it out and then I can, you know, make it digital and different things like that, let me know because I I do have the capability to get these published. Uh, my whole company, that's what I do. I have a fiction book already out, you know, uh, March next year would be the five year anniversary of its release. And I do like a bunch of different things. So yeah, check out that the most random manga ever. That's literally the title of it. The first chapter is called 420. I released it yesterday for 420. Something fun, random. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe notification bell. Leave a comment, like. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Peace. Snowed in, composition blend, stuffed in this pre-roll, light it up, light it up. Stress free, stress free, let go, let go. Stress free, stress free, let go, let go. Snowed in, composition blend, stuffed in this pre-roll, light it up, light it up. Stress free, stress free, let go, let go. Stress free, stress free, let go, let go. Hindsight is now really 2020. RIP the MF Dumalay. Prayers to your family. We understand your privacy.